Hey strawberry lovers, it's Ashley here from The Recipe Rebel and today we are making pie. I'll admit I'm not a huge pie person, pastry has just never really been my favorite thing. But this one combines two of my favorite foods, strawberries and cream cheese and it is a hit every time. It looks impressive, it's super fresh and fun for summer but I've got a few tricks to cut down on the prep time and make it a little easier if you need. We're gonna start with this handy dandy refrigerated pie crust. If you wanna go all out, make your pie crust from scratch, you go ahead. It's not that hard to do, but sometimes you need to cut yourself a little slack and that's okay. I'm going to roll it out into my pie crust and then I'm going to top with a piece of parchment paper and some dried beans. This is gonna ensure that it doesn't puff up while it's baking. If you don't have any dried beans or pie weights, you can simply go around and prick some holes in the crust with a fork. I don't find that it's quite as effective, but it's still gonna help. So the reason that we are blind baking our pie crust or baking it totally empty is because we are using a cold, no-bake cheesecake filling and we just wanna bake the crust. It's the only thing that goes in the oven. If you wanna make this totally no-bake, feel free to use a graham cracker crust or even a chocolate graham cracker crust would be amazing. I'm gonna pop this in the oven and I'm gonna get started on my filling. So this strawberry cream cheese pie has two layers. The first is a cream cheese layer and the second is a strawberry layer. We can make both of these and have them ready for when the pie crust is out and cooled. We're going to start with the cream cheese layer. First, we are going to take our room temperature cream cheese and beat it until it's smooth. It's important that it's not cold right out of the fridge, otherwise you might end up with some lumps. So now that our cream cheese is smooth, we're gonna add in our powdered sugar and our vanilla. So after we add the powdered sugar, you want to start with your mixer on low, otherwise you'll have a white powdery explosion in the kitchen and nobody likes cleaning the kitchen. Now that our powdered sugar is all combined, we are going to add in some heavy cream. And we're just going to beat it on high speed until it's nice and light and fluffy. We're going to make our glaze or our gelatin for the strawberry layer. So we're gonna sprinkle over our gelatin, over some cold water. We're gonna set that aside and we're gonna heat up our juice and our jam in the microwave. We're gonna take our strawberry juice mixture and we're gonna pop it in the microwave on high. We want it to be hot, but not boiling. So this could take anywhere from 45 seconds to about a minute and a half, depending on your microwave. Now, all we're gonna do is pour the hot liquid over our gelatin that has been blooming. We're gonna whisk it until it's completely dissolved. Then we wanna give it a few minutes to cool off. We don't wanna pour the super hot gelatin over the cream cheese. So 
while our gelatin and our pie crust are coming up to room temperature, we are gonna get started on slicing our fresh strawberries. And we wanna slice them nice and thin so that we can get a clean slice of pie. Now that everything is at room temperature, we're just gonna start assembling our pie. So we have our pre-baked pie crust. We're gonna spread the cream cheese in the bottom and we're gonna top with our strawberries. So when you add your layers of sliced strawberries on top, you don't have to get fancy. I'm just gonna add a couple of thin layers. Now we are just going to pour our gelatin mixture over the strawberries carefully. And I'm gonna use a pastry brush to kind of brush the tops just to make sure everything is coated. So if you have a little bit of extra gelatin, don't feel like you need to pour it all into the pie crust. Just fill it as full as it can handle. We want the strawberries mostly covered, but we don't need to necessarily use every last drop. We are going to refrigerate this until it's completely set, which is about four hours. If you want to leave it overnight, that is perfectly fine too. So I have one pie that I have made in advance that is totally chilled and set. I'm just going to pipe a little bit of whipped cream around the edge and it's time to serve. So that's how you make this easy strawberry cream cheese pie. I can't think of a better thing to do with all of those fresh summer strawberries. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do.